Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're going to talk about the WGA, the Hollywood Writers' Strike, and how apparently the studios are giving their best and final offer. Their, their best and final offer. No, for realsies this time. This is actually the final, final, final offer. They gave a final offer last month, which actually looked like a pretty good deal except for the writer's room issue, which is what's the sticking point. That seems to be the big sticking point as I understand it. But, but this is the final, final, final offer. Now they have to renew these contracts uh, or renegotiate these contracts every three years. And I have to wonder on some level, given how contentious this relationship uh, has been, if the studios aren't just gonna buy themselves more time. Like, yeah, we'll sign another three year agreement and in the meantime, we're going to build a life raft, and we're going to we're going to try to uh, outsource more work to uh, non-union shops, or you know, send stuff overseas, or get stuff from overseas, or whatever. Um, you know, I, I I mean, this is not a lifetime thing, and people have to understand that these unions negotiate their their contracts every couple of years, and uh, I, I think the next time is going to be hard too. I don't think this is quite the slam dunk they think it's going to be because obviously there's some pushback. And if the studios, if the studios agree to it, uh, it's because they're hurting and they need content. You know, they don't have a backup. I think they're planning one, but I don't think they have a backup yet. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, yeah, so this um, this has been an ongoing discussion it's kind of like a stay of execution, right, for the writers. Now, if you remember last time, the studios put an offer out there, and they basically gave them, from, from where I was saying, they gave them pretty much everything. The only thing they didn't budge on was the writer's room, and this is a huge sticking point. This is actually the, the biggest issue I have, where they want to be mandated that you have so many writers in the writer's room. Now, they're claiming it's because of AI. I think it's because they want to have as many people employed as possible because, remember, the union does get a cut of everybody's pay. So it benefits them to have as many people on the job as possible, even if those people are just sitting around twiddling their thumbs, right? Uh, so that was, that was the biggest issue I had. Now, as far as the other stuff, asking for raise, I think, is reasonable. I think uh, making sure that they're not going to take your likeness with AI, I think, is a reasonable request. I think, you know, getting a bonus if your stuff is performing is reasonable. I think making sure that, you know, the streamers are being very transparent with their views um, is also a good thing because how do you know if you're getting ripped off or not? You know, if they're not telling you how many views you're actually getting. Now, this could actually backfire on some people. They could think that they've got this, you know, huge hit on their hands because the media is talking about this show being like the bestest thing ever. And then you actually get the numbers and you're like, oh, yeah, like 300 people watch this show. That's that's not good, you know. So uh, just be careful what you wish for. But this is coming from Variety. Amp Tip gives WGA its best and final offer. Guild expected to respond on Sunday. Uh, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers sent the Writers Guild of America its best and final offer on Saturday afternoon after four days of intense negotiations to secure a new three-year contract and bring the nearly five-month five month long writer's strike to an end. Five months. Five months. This could have been wrapped up like two or three months ago if they had just dropped the writer's room thing, in my opinion. Uh, industry sources report that a last, best, and final offer was sent to WGA negotiators around 5 p.m. Legal representatives for label and management huddled Saturday in person at Amp Tip HQ in Sherman Oaks. Uh, other key players on both sides monitored events closely, but from afar. Saturday's focus was finalizing the fine print of language for complicated and cutting-edge contract issues the stakes in this negotiation have been unusually high and reflective of the pace of change across the broader media and entertainment industry. We've seen how good AI has gotten in a year or two. How good is AI going to be in three years when the next contract negotiation uh, comes around? I'm, I'm just saying. Like, it, you know, I, I, I'm just saying. Speaking of which, we've got uh, George R. R. Martin suing open AI. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to see a lot more of this, I think. Uh, for sure. Guild negotiators have grappled with how to regulate the use of generative artificial intelligence and other groundbreaking elements for the WGA's minimum basic agreement. 
such as a formula for minimum staff guarantee. This is the big problem for episodic TV and a success-based residual from subscription platforms. I agree with that. I do agree with that. I think if you're bringing it, you should get paid more. Uh, that is designed to funnel more money into the WGA's pension and health funds. Uh, the nitty-gritty details on the terms around the AI proposal has been one of the final hurdles to overcome. Multiple sources said, I still think it's a writer's room. I mean, I could be totally wrong. That might be it. It might all be tied together. It might be that they're afraid that you're going to have a showrunner and a chat bot cranking out all the episodes, you know, so they're going to be like, yeah, we can't have that. Can we? Uh, the, the sad thing is, is that, uh, the chat bot might do a better job than some of the Netflix writers say that. I mean, come on. Um, it's mainly down to language. Now one industry insider said the negotiations were jumpstarted this week by the presence of four top executives, Bob Iger, David Zaslav, Ted Sarandos, and Donna Langley from NBC universal. Those four took part in three days of marathon negotiations that broke the months long impasse between the WGA and amp tip senior execs were not in the room Saturday, but likely kept close tabs on the progress after investment after investment so much time after you should get a chat bot after investing so much time earlier in the week. Um, yeah, so they're not really going into a whole lot of detail here. Now, some people don't believe it. This is out on Twitter, formerly Twitter, the site formerly known as Twitter. Well, shit, I thought they had a deal already. No deal until the WGA says so. The media creates those expectations to make the union seem unreasonable. The deal offered isn't fair. The last deal was, in my opinion, very fair, but uh, they turned it down. Uh, that's what the AMP tip leaked to the press in order to pressure the deal to close. The AMP tip isn't even authorized to make a deal on the sort of structural changes that the WGA is demanding. The strike can't end until the studios themselves cave, not the lawyers they keep around. Uh, then you still have SAG. Yeah, everybody forgets about the actors, right? It seems to be mostly about the uh, the writers. And then they're talking, like right after this, that the video game industry is going to go on strike too. And uh, IATSE, are they on strike? I don't know. I can't keep track of who's on strike. I have no idea. And then they're talking, um, the the uh, VFX workers are going to unionize now. To, it's like, it's getting very expensive to do business in Hollywood, isn't it? It's going to be very expensive. They're probably the source of the press release, uh, these these uh, people said. I only listened to the WGA. Can't imagine they put an offer together they did not think would be accepted, waste of time and money. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't put anything, this is Balls McGee, Balls McGee. I wouldn't put anything past the bumbling and obnoxious WGA negotiating committee. Oh, shut up. You shut up. <laughs> uh, final offer, then they better make sure that they meet all of their demands because there's no TV and film industry without the writers and actors. Uh, somebody got blocked. Somebody got blocked. I thought the last one was their final offer. Or the one before that it seems like a lot of the best and final offers to me. I wonder if their pockets are hurting now that they will concede and agree to a deal. Let's get something signed. Y'all get, uh, <laughs> get tired of carrying water for amp tip or just second nature by this point. Best and final. You're just going to produce more writers, shut up, and pay people what they deserve. Yeah, they are. Um, Beepop 2000 over here is is pretty good at uh, you know repurposing the original Witcher books and uh, turning them into functional scripts that uh, Henry Cavill would approve of. So yeah, yeah, I think they I think they can. Doesn't mean good, and it won't be their last. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um. That headline, classic amp tip variety. Then why do these people work in Hollywood? Why, the, why do you work in Hollywood? If you hate the studio so much and they pay all your bills and they cut all your checks, why do you work in Hollywood? Why do you work for these people at all? That's what I want. I'm not, it's a serious question. Like if you hate them that much, you hate these people that much, and these are your employers, you could go work in any other industry. You could. I mean, I'm not being a dick. I'm saying like you probably would have a lot less headaches. You could go work someplace else. You could go do something else. You don't have to work for these uh, these these studios if they're so god-awful to work for. A lot of people leave Hollywood. They do. They get burned out. Um, they get screwed over. And that's true. They do get screwed over. And then they quit. You don't have to stay. Um, final offer or what? 
Derp, derp. Stupid headline. Final offer. So if the WGA doesn't accept studios, we'll stop making movies. Okay. No. <laughs> they'll just, they'll get non-union labor or they'll just, print. I mean, Netflix flat out said they got, they got all kinds of cash uh, that they've got set aside for Korean shows. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Variety, the business of entertainment. Again, why are you people, why are you people working for these studios if you think they're so awful? Um, you know, nobody's irreplaceable. I think that, I think that's what gets me about this. I think that's what gets me about this. Um, and why I have such a visceral reaction to it when I see a lot of these writers and a lot of them are uh, not, not all, but a lot of them are like wannabes or nobodies or they, you know, did like one episode, for, you know what I'm saying? They're not like a big deal. Right. And the attitude that they are owed a living making entertainment. It's like, it's not like you're working in the healthcare industry or you're even working in the widget factory and everybody needs a widget to live. You're, you're making content that is a luxury item for people. It's not really even necessary. And I look, I know my place too. I'm just a talking head on YouTube. You know, I know my place. I know what I do is not necessary for anybody. Like everybody could just stop watching me tomorrow, you know? Um, but the fact that you think that you're owed a living, that what you're doing is some like supremely important uh, job, you know, that you have a divine mission to uh, entertain and and uh, degrade your audiences or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like there isn't a lot of perspective. Are you curing cancer? Are you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not in, uh, ow. I, I just think, I think there needs to be a little more perspective. And some people I think are going to have perspective after this, you know, um, pretty sure SAG and WGA actually decide if it's the final offer, unless the studios think we'll all be good with no more movies and TV. Well, some people are. Um, so I don't know. I mean, are these people in anything? I don't know. I'm just saying like my own personal opinion is the attitude of entitlement is astounding given what you're doing for a living. Um, a lot of people, they had a poll. A lot of people didn't even really care what the hell was going on in Hollywood, except for people living in LA. Like they don't really care. Like, oh, we're not getting any new movies or TV shows. That's okay. Cause the last couple of years, yeah, everything's pretty much sucked. So, <laughs> so it might be a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I'm, I, you should be very grateful if this deal goes through, right? And if the deal goes through, if you continue to make a living entertaining people, you should be very grateful and you should treat your audience better. You should thank them for watching your stuff, even if it's not very good. Uh, you definitely should thank your audiences more often. I think a lot of people working in Hollywood would get so much further if they would thank their audience instead of expecting people to watch whatever got shot out of Hollywood. And um, that's kind of where we're at right now. So just kind of a follow up here. Dancing with the Stars now. It looks like they're potentially getting canceled too. They might push that back. I haven't watched this show in like, what, 10 years? How long has it been on? It's been on way too long. Way too long. But um, they had Matt Walsh chicken out. Um, he didn't realize it was a struck show or something. He's like, oh, I left right then and there. And he had to put a big statement out to make sure he didn't get canceled by the people on Twitter or whatever. Make sure you get invited to those parties. So I'm going to wrap this up. We'll see. We'll see if this is the best and final offer. We'll see if there's a stay of execution for Hollywood or if this is going to continue. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.